New Island's usual stupid talk about playing stupid games got me thinking about stupid games. So, uh, on the topic of stupid games, I think we're playing Talmud's Adventure. Against my better judgment. So we've beaten it before on Digest, the easy mode. So can we do it on normal mode? And get the full story, because we didn't get to see the whole game last time. Mercifully. Yeah, we wanted the Type 1 controls. Trying to push the thing. It's not pushing. The push was a lie. Okay, so we've got a rocket pack guy dropping spears on us. I don't think that was there before. We got some delicious fries, we got some slushies. Got a few crocodiles, a few crocodiles. That's, that's gonna happen when you've got a, a theme park with water in it. Occasionally a crocodile is gonna eat somebody, you can't help that. So I think I actually skipped the intro, which is a shame, because I would have liked to rewatch that. I remember it being a thing of beauty. Guys, a pirate just threw his hat at me. Like, fatally. Man, this game doesn't kid around when it goes from, uh... Digest to... Normal? Seven thousand six hundred and fifty points is the high highest score there. That's an interesting number. I don't know if it has some significance. Get you down out there. These cars always gotta be driving. Why can't you just never leave home like I do? Probably want the stuff. Is it good stuff? I'm not convinced there is good stuff in this game, so maybe not. Okay, we got wings. There was good stuff. What the? Plant with lipstick on it. I wish that was the most unsettling uh, plant we've seen we see in this game, but it's not. Ugh. I fell out of the sky and landed in the water. What is this and why, Miki? This is Talmud's adventure. Hammer's Adventure, the game that should not be. Also remind me to change the stream title there, thank you.
Okay, so the plot is that for ages, the uh, magical nations of the world have lived in peace, worshipping Peace Mountain. And uh, naturally, they decided to build a theme park on top of Peace Mountain so that everybody can celebrate peace and also spend money. But an incredibly evil mole man has kidnapped the uh, beautiful princess and also the beautiful fairies. And, uh, taken over Peace Mountain. And if nobody stops him, he will rule the world because there is no other entertainment in this setting other than going to Peace Mountain and riding some roller coaster rides. So he has to be stopped. Fall down to Prince Talmud to, uh, do this stuff. Because the ants is uh, mining, and the stuff they mines is rolling around. Yep, a mole man. Oh, okay. The intro describes all of the uh, the nations of this setting. And the mole men are one of them. And most of the mole men look kind of cute, but not the evil guy. He looks uh, very evil. Classically so. Hey look, there's a Medusa, upside down, inside that cave. We played this game on digest mode and we beat it. It uh, obviously is a lot harder on this mode. Like a lot of these enemies we didn't even see in regular mode. I remember seeing the rocket pack guy, but I don't think he dropped spears. And this uh... Oh my gosh. The insect throwing balls, who I was about to say the insect throwing balls wasn't in the uh, average, isn't in the easy mode. They've added him in for the medium mode. But then I clicked onto the fact that the uh, that guy, that guy there on the left, he is a cricket playing cricket. And now I hate everything. Roller coaster. Hooray! I should probably be wearing my seatbelt. Yeah, so your main attack in this game is to uh, throw shadow clones of yourself in a circle around you. For reasons that are unclear to me. Also, watch out for the signs advertising Gan Tomatoes. You want to see those because Gan Tomatoes are like really good. Definitely not to be missed. Also watch out for the uh, McDonald's fries. Sorry, the Marvel fries. Well, you won't find McDonald's uh, sponsoring a video game anytime soon. That would be ridiculous. Silly, even. I don't remember these... whatever they are, either. I don't remember these shiny Seedra being in this game, either. Oh, I need the owl. We stalked my shadow clones. It's an angry three-headed bee.
But we all agreed never to talk about the McDonald's game. Since the topic's already up, which would you guys say is creepier? Ronald McDonald or the Burger King? I mean, frankly, I wouldn't want either of them living in the same neighborhood as me. Well. Glob, 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 glob. I could have glided there as well. You can do that when you've got wings. No! <laughs> I, I tried to stop and wait for the thing, but it was... I just slid down instead. Okay. That, that one was my fault. I kind of jumped onto that sphere. Both about as creepy as each other, huh? Yeah, it's hard to pick which is the more terrifying of the uh, of the two. I mean, I feel like Ronald McDonald wouldn't hurt you on purpose. He just doesn't understand enough about humanity to realize how incredibly deadful his fun how incredibly deadly his uh, playful games are. His accidental mutilations of kids. Whereas the Burger King would straight up stab a guy. But I still don't know which which is scarier. The Burger King's overwhelming malevolence, or Ronald McDonald being so clearly unable to understand the human condition that he accidentally destroy a life and have no concept of uh, what he'd just done. An alien mind with no concept of mercy. Behold, the infinite malignancy. McDonald's. Cheeseburger. Well, so we don't talk about the plant ladies, Miki. No, don't fall down. Oh, okay. We almost landed in the water there. The, uh, the plant lady in the bikini and red high heels with a whip. We, we don't talk about her. Na we just ignore the fact that she exists. That Medusa is firing death lasers. Which kind of makes sense on account of Medusa does use sort of a gaze attack in the original stories, so I can't fault that. I don't remember that being a thing that's in uh, the, the Digest version either. Yeah, you do have to wonder, kind of, what was going on in this theme park. Wow. 
Was this really a family family friendly attraction? When they've got bikini ladies with whips running around. I'm not convinced this is appropriate. Yeah, I think I would also stay away from this place. For many reasons. Freaking Medusa and the the eye attack. Need a mirrored shield or something. Hey, Mango, welcome back. <laughs> How are you doing? I don't want that guy's tongue anywhere near me. Thank you. Please, please stop, I need an adult. I hate this game. Why did you guys request this? Which one of you picked this game? Was it was it Novella? I think it was probably Novella. it from every direction over here. With a guy sneezing on me. We've got a lady giving me literal death glares. And then there's this guy who can't keep his tongue to himself. This theme park will not be getting a good write-up in my blog. Frankly, the people throwing bombs on me are welcome in uh, comparison. Also, I thought I was going to make it under that one. I was not. Can we at least beat the first boss? We beat the whole game on easy mode. We can't be the first level now. Kaboom peeps. I feel like I need less Kaboom Peeps in my life. Okay, duck under that one, kill this guy. Can we kill this guy please? Thank you. Okay, let him throw that. I'll hide under here. Can we kill him or no? I'm not entirely sure what was happening there. Ah! Um... 
please no. Jump over it. Okay, we made it. We wanna go down here, I guess? <laughs> what you just said without the sarcasm? Oh man, death lasers every- oh, okay. I was too busy watching the death lasers and I fell in the water. Oh, there was a checkpoint, thank goodness. Please don't death laser me! Oh my gosh, I don't like this. No, I want to go home. Even the McDonald's flies won't cheer me up. What is, what is that? I don't dare touch it, whatever it is. Yeah, especially, I assume that's a bad thing for you because it's like, about winter time there. And Vane is cold and miserable. Yeah. Prince Talmud, help! So, you're here to save this little bug girl. You'll have to play my game first. But over here, we're in the middle of a horrible heat wave, so Vane would be nice. Here are the rules. If you win the scissors, paper, rock game, attack with any button. If you lose, block with the joypad. Oh, in your game, right. Best two out of three wins. Just draw attention to the fact that that's Talmud's assistant there in the swimsuit. In the case of a tie, the first to score wins. And that's one of the sacred princesses of Peace Mountain, also in a swimsuit. Be careful, my prince. Ouch! No, hang on, that's not it. Ouch! What voice did I give the chicken? It was only like three seconds ago. Not bad. <laughs> Everyone loves swimsuits, apparently, yeah. This freaking theme park and it's uh Wimpy move? Hold on, I thought if it was a draw it was the first one to attack wins. Wait, how is that a tie? Oh, because I blocked it? I guess I have to beat him with an actual attack. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the dress code here at uh, Marvel Land theme park is uh, certainly something. Something for everyone in the family, I guess. I'm telling King Mole about this. Thank you, Prince Talmud. Keys. Please take this trident crystal. Yep, 
It holds the power of this area. It'll help you in your battle against Mole. Oh yeah, the uh, evil king of the Mole people is named Mole, by the way. Oh, bonus stage. Pac-Man, it's uh, Pegasus. It's Sword of the Century. It's uh, it's Sophitia from Soul Calibur. It's Tiamat. He was in Final Fantasy. All of these are from other games that the company made. I don't recognize most of them. Okay, we got one of the tridents. What's in this next area? So far it looks much the same as the first. Except with evil dolphins, I guess. Is that my last life? Pay X. Apparently, uh, apparently, just a quick reminder that you pay to get into Marvel Land, but not necessarily not necessarily money. There's often uh, vouchers for free entry, but despite that, there's always a price. Visiting Marvel Land leaves a stain on your soul that will never quite wash out. Ooh, secret door. Fly over as much of the level as possible. Oh, my wings are cutting out. Oh, okay. I picked up a uh, a death. I think. Oh no! It's a Kirby! Do not want! Please no have mercy. get the checkpoint there this time, but we didn't get it before when we got way further. Oh, I've just noticed that these, these boats are moon faces. We're, we're sitting on faces right now. Is there no depth to which this game will not speed? Stoop. Step. Didn't mean to do that. Everything about this game is just so creepy. Why did he not jump there? Seems like the perfect time to jump to me. While the things are descending, we could jump from one to the other and get a get ahead, but Apparently gravity disagrees. Not the death thingy, please. Oh 
Nobody knows what this game even is. Wait, was there a guy with a spear inside the treasure chest? Basically, this game is all of our nightmares rolled into one conveniently sized package. One of the weirder games I've ever played. Why is there no weapons on this whole level? Is it because we're at a theme park for kids? Oh no. Please don't shoot me. Password Zizi. I don't know how many continues I get. Am I getting infinite continues here? <laughs> I have played this on stream before, but the previous time I played it on easy mode, and you only get a tiny bit of the game at, if you do it that way. It was still enough to really weird me out, however. Everything about this game is uncomfortably bizarre. Okay, we're back here at least. Not lost too much ground. Also, these are the desync now, which makes it a lot easier. Aside from the part where I crashed into a bunch of uh, jetpack patrols, and now they're synced up. Jumping works really weirdly on those platforms. I don't want to tell you guys. Sometimes you just don't go anywhere. Ah! And that time I went a million miles up into the sky, okay. What do I know about physics? This is where we're spending the rest of our life, guys. Please, please. Let me get to the end of this area. Let me not be in this zone anymore. I might just run past that and jump, but then, but then the rocket pack guy came past. And I hesitated just too long. I wasn't prepared for the rocket pack guy. Is there... Nope, it's just a drink. There is nothing useful in any of these chests. I'm just getting starved of power ups. Give me some wings of an attack or anything. Actually, there's the end of the level. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept the end of the level as a uh, reward.
What am I looking at here? That is that is the beefiest duck I have ever seen. Look at that left hook. I don't want any of that. Ah. And yet it's the laughing kid that kills me. It's always the one you don't see coming. What the? There's a bunch of tree men running through here on fire. I, I, what? I, I give up. There's no understanding any of this. <laughs> you send them. It all makes sense now. Can I bounce on this guy? Or... Okay. Oh. Can only bounce on him so far. Who else but Miki would send burning trees as a warning? An offer I can't refuse. Hey, no, Alan. If I was you, I'd just leave again. Go anywhere, or what do we got here? Hell yeah, there's not a single power up on this whole. There's not a single attack power up on this whole level. At least I've got wings now. I can't complain about having wings. Even if a guy in a, even if a fish in a trench coat and a hat is uh, spitting on me. Wings don't last very long. You set them on fire and here they are. This is why you don't make enemies with Miki. I don't think I can get further than here without... Okay, there goes that. Without the wings, to be honest. So I guess we gotta get the wings. I don't know what the, uh, the S flag is. This shouldn't be hard! Exactly, Miki. Why would anybody want to be your enemy? You'll send burning trees at them. And make that face. No sane person would want that. thing goes underwater there. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Noelan, why did you request this game? Why would you do that? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure Miki said that you requested this game. Going under here? No, 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 please, 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 no, please, no, no, please, no, please. Um, guys, this isn't water. It looks like water, but it isn't. It's just definitely called Sky. This doesn't even lead anywhere crazy exciting. This is just further in the regular level. How are you supposed to get that power up? The platform it's on falls into the water. I can't take any more of this. Game. Oh, now there's three trees on fire because I died, I suppose. Miki sent another one. Another example. Miki, am I actually playing this game, or did you put something in my water? That was a really angry duck. Okay, we're on a boat now. This is a uh, definite improvement, I'm sure. Oh, finally an attack! How far are we in this this zone? And this is the first time we've seen an attack. Oh, I remember these things. I hate them because of that. Cleared. Oh my gosh, there's another roller coaster. Now, look, guys, we've got to jump from one roller coaster to another. This seems th fun and doesn't violate all kinds of health and safety regulations. Kage no Bonshunjutsu! I should have gone on the other roller coaster, the one that doesn't go through uh, spiky fire hell.
The watch was definitely 100% not laced with anything. Are you sure? Because, I mean... Frankly, between the two options of somebody really spiked my drink, or I am playing Talmud's Adventure, I think I'd rather somebody really spiked my drink. Try the other coaster this time, see if it goes anywhere better. Oh, we hit another one of those kill things. Oh, we hit two of them. We're losing shadow clones left and right here. This ride brought to you by Gan. Oh, this one also goes through the underground spiky area, just later on, I guess. Suppose you have to keep swapping them if you want to do cool loop-de-loops instead of, uh, spiky death zones. Ah! Thank you, Miki. It's kind of you to say so. Maybe you did that last time as well. Maybe I was... Every time I've played this game, I've been uh, secretly laced with something. And in fact, this game doesn't exist. It would be a great comfort to me to know that. Skip as much of the level as possible. I don't trust that secret door. Last time wasn't you? So I got drugged and this game exists. Well, today is just turning out super. mid-flight. We didn't hit a checkpoint in all of that. I think the checkpoints are literal spots that you have to stand in, not just you went beyond a certain area. Like, if you fly over an area where there's an invisible checkpoint, you don't get that checkpoint. Oh, come on, I totally landed on him. This is outrageous, I want my money back. I think you get infinite continues in this game, which is perhaps the greatest torture of all. 
So I don't know at what point we're stopping. When we adequately run out of time, I guess. Oh, okay. When we're not getting the wings this time, I suppose. Um, sure, we'll take that. See, I was gonna say, look at this platforming, look at these platforming moves, and then I fell to my death. And then I was gonna say, I was gonna say, uh, look at these platforming moves, and then I fell to my death. But then I didn't fall to my death. So now here we are, in the worst of all worlds. Does that, does that pirate have a peg face? He's got a wooden... look at him, he's got a wooden something. Where his head should be. Th th this pirate got decapitated and has a chunk of wood where his face should be. My gosh. What has science done? Give me a thing, give me a thing. I don't see how we could have gotten out of there without wings. We got a thing! Let's get out of this level. I don't... How many areas are there in this world? Let me fight another boss already. They are frankly tame in comparison. Shadow clones for the weird mirroring steps. Just the way they trail along behind me. Ooh, what we got over here? I feel like it would get you some attention, yeah. Those six synchronized dance moves, bro. Oh, okay. That wasn't a flaw. How did I live through that? Help, I'm stuck here, I think. Oh boy. This is gonna go super. Bowser's castle. We got more turrets. And all the turrets are people's faces.
Yeah, it'd be pretty cool to have mirrored versions of yourself trailing along behind you. And it's a fairly stylish look. I don't think I'd want Naruto-style uh, shadow clones, though. I'd be overwhelmed by the ethical implications. Do you imagine if you got into, into a fight? They wouldn't know where I was! I'd have all the advantages. Light. <laughs> like the thing about Naruto's shadow clones is that he doesn't control them. He creates them and they've got all his memories and are happy to do what he wants. But they like clearly think and act on their own. And, I mean, they don't seem to care whether they live or die. Which is good because they're incredibly fragile, but... I'm not sure how comfortable I am summoning disposable people. Well, to be honest, it's bothered me since I figured out how uh, Shadow Clones work, but... Oh right, I forgot that I can't jump here. At least not while I've got wings. But I've been particularly thinking about it lately because, uh... Like, Naruto's Shadow Clones don't last very long. Shadow Clones are by their nature not very durable or long-lived. They're around for 30 seconds and then they pop. You, you might have wanted to jump there, Talmud. But, I mean... I'm watching through the uh, second series now, and there's a guy who, uh... specializes in wood magic, and he summons a wood clone, which is much more durable and much... He only gets one of them instead of the dozens that Naruto summons. But it's much more durable and much more powerful than a Shadow Clone. And like, that thing goes on an independent mission. Operating for days on its own. Communicating with the rest of the team by radio and showing lots of concern for its, uh, its master and his friends. And then when they're done with him, he just, he just disintegrates. Just pop. That was it. Game over. Kind of horrifying. Honestly, felt like that guy had more. Felt like that uh, wood clone had more personality than the actual guy. So yeah, yeah, the uh, ethically dubious. I uh, I wouldn't. Even though the clones themselves don't seem to care in the slightest, they have no self-preservation, they're happy to throw themselves away for their summoner. And don't- I guess they don't consider themselves to be alive, they know that they're just clones, but... Still, if I had that power, that would creep me the heck out.
Hey, we found another princess in a swimsuit. Princess Talmud, help! So, we are here to save this little bug girl. You'll have to deal with me first. For this contest, you'll need a second. Okay, I'll take a second to think. <laughs> I'll help you, my... Oh, hold on, it's the uh, fish queen talking. I'll help you, my friends. You'd better not lose. So again, our personal assistant as the uh, prince is running around in... That's not even a swimsuit, that is a... Playboy bunny outfit. Minus the ears. Also high heels. Some pumps fill the balloons. I think it's meant to be a kid's game. While others empty them. I don't understand these rules in the slightest. The first to douse the other's friend wins. Okay. So I'm trying so I'm trying to pour water on the fish lady, which seems like a very fruitful endeavor. Um What? I don't understand. Um while he's trying to dunk the, uh, bunny in the water. I don't understand what I'm doing here. Oh, I have to find the one that... that does the dunking, and then I have to stop him from also dunking. Just, just gonna say, I feel like the uh, the fish guy has an advantage in this game of dunking water on people. I think this one shrinks down, the one above my friend. Stop it, dude! Oh. Your skills are weak, young Talbot. Be gone! Somehow we cancel each other out. Yeah, I don't didn't really understand the rules to that game. Not gonna lie. Largely because I was too busy slamming what our secretary chose to wear to work that day. Instead of paying attention to the rules. So, see, all the good guy characters are running around in their underwear. But the, uh, bad guy woman is wearing a tasteful kimono. Or possibly a yukata in this heat. This is the is this wait is this the part where I can't jump? This is the part where I can't jump, right? Okay, now we're good. Ow! Oh! We were briefly good.
So I guess, considering this is the Sacred Peace Mountain and all of the uh, holy princesses are running around in swimsuits and the royal secretary is uh, dressed like a playboy bunny. We can only assume that being properly dressed is some sort of sin in this culture. It's not socially acceptable, only the bad guys do it. Is that, a, is that an evil power? Ah, uh, you still- you need the wings to get further there, I guess. So race to get there with, it, with your wings still intact? No! Throw it Oh, I got a checkpoint. Never mind. Shiny Tota dials everywhere. And here's me without a single Pokeball. Alright, see ya, Mangle. I'll be ending the stream soon anyway, I think. I don't really see myself getting to the end of this tonight, even with Infinite Continues. But hey, thanks for hanging out with us. It was uh, cool to hear from you. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your evening, dude. I'd like to beat this boss, and then I'll probably call it a night. Alright, see you, Nadellan. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Always good to hear from you. And I'll probably catch you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. Okay, let me reread these rules to see if I can, uh, like, get it this time. See, the Fish Queen looks fairly confident in her ability to handle this. Our, our lady does not look so happy. She knows that I'm not going to understand these rules. She knows exactly how this game's going to end. Some pumps fill the balloons, some empty them. So we've just got to figure out which ones work? Which ones do what? Here's one that pumps up this. But we need to... No! How do I stop him from pumping that? <laughs> I don't understand this game.
I really have no idea what I'm meant to be doing there. I think maybe I'll come back to it another night, when I'm not, not so tired. I think it's different every time. It seemed like he went to the same spot, but I went to the top right one, which was good for me last time, and it didn't seem to do anything. I don't really know how you recognize which ones empty them and which ones power them up. So yeah, that one was kind of baffling. I don't really understand it. Yeah, I'm. I need to get some sleep. I am wiped. I keep my eyes open. <laughs> so hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you all for keeping me company. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I think you're probably right on that. I wondered if pumping the one that he pumped would actually drain it because. I, I was like using it in reverse maybe, but I tested it and it still pumped the uh, balloon up against my lady, so... That didn't seem to be a good idea, so at least we learned that. Don't pump the one that he pumps. I mean, maybe it's just about finding the one that pumps the other person's one first, and then pumping it as fast as you can? I don't know. <laughs> good night, Miki. Thank you for hanging out with me. As always, you've been great company. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's gonna be me for tonight. The next uh, retro stream will be next Tuesday evening. <laughs> Thank you, Miki. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I'll be back tomorrow with Slay the Spire in the afternoon. And it's going to be Pokemon Uranium in the evening. Approaching a new town and presumably a new gem. Should be good. <laughs> so yeah, thanks again for watching everybody. I hope you've all enjoyed it as much as I have. And uh, I hope to see you all again. Now go get some sleep.